this does not count against your debate time. Thank you all. It was an incredible honor and I once again want to thank everybody I've worked with on every convention I've worked on. You've made me possible. Thank you all. All right. Now your debate time begins. <laughs> what Mr. Pomerantz said is the key to this whole thing. We must not only fix the problem, we must fix the problem in a way that it is clear and visible that this is not an attempt by a group of 100 people at a business meeting to change the rules so as to prevent an outcome that they don't like from 200 people gaming a Yugos that 3,000 people voted in. We need to be perceived as fair. The current system is perceivable as fair because I can explain in 30 seconds or five seconds. Nominate everything you like and we will add up the thing that has the most votes and it gets nominated. That's easy. I defy anybody to explain EPH in as few words as I've been able to explain the current system. Um, Mr. O'Halloran, and uh, will you be able, do you need a microphone? Okay. There are only 15 seconds. Of okay, this will be the last speaker to, on this motion. I will be brief. Well, you have no choice. <laughs> you have no choice but to be brief with only 15 seconds of debate time left. I very much doubt the secretary needs my badge. No. <laughs> Microphone. Yeah. I wrote it down to make sure it was brief. Good afternoon, John O'Halloran. By the current system, a slate can dominate the nominations as we've seen. We've also seen last night that the voters will respond to the slate. Sorry, thought I was up close. We have seen that the voters will respond to the slates and defeat them. Apologize. This, uh, for Mr. Quinn? The most, there's a motion to extend debate for two minutes. Is there a second? All those in favor, a two-thirds vote being necessary to extend debate. All those in favor of extending debate, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed? There being less than two-thirds in the affirmative, the debate is not extended. That's all. You can step away there. This, yes, that's fine. Okay. The chair believes we are probably going to have to have a division, but I want to be absolutely sure. Those, that, so first, I'm going to take a show of hands. On E Pluribus Hugo, all those in favor of adopting this, raise your hands. Hands down, those opposed. Hands down, the chair is somewhat in doubt, believes the affirmative has it. Very well. Now, the other issue here, this was raised to me about our last division. There was a question asked, why not just stop counting at the, when taking the negative when it becomes rather obvious that it, we're going to not go? The chair believes that when we take a division, Every member in this room has the right to vote, regardless of whether they, they sit on the head table, the front right of the room, or the rear left of the room. And that is the reason why we will do that. Not every person here attended the previous meetings. I am going to once again describe how a division or serpentine vote works. Not yet, but I am about to call for the affirmative, those vote in favor of it. When I say so, stand, or if you are unable to stand, indicate your uh, favor in some other way. We, the sergeant at arms will move through the audience starting at this corner up here, moving across the rows, back and forth, moving toward the back of the room, all the way to the rear wall. When they have finished, they will come back forward to this row here and do the same thing all the way to the back, and then they will come down here to the final section and do the same thing all the way to the back. As they reach you, call out the next number. We'll start with one, of course. Call out your number loudly enough, if possible, for everyone else to hear us, and then sit down. Call out the number first and then sit down. It makes it easier to hear. Head table first. Or what? Head table first. And once 
all of the affirmative has been taken, we will do the same thing with the negative. And then after that, we'll make sure everyone has had the chance to vote and we'll call the final amount. Is there any person here who has a question about how this vote will be taken? I need a show, just a show of hands. Anybody? Very well. All those in favor of adopting E Pluribus Hugo, please stand. Oh, actually, I'm standing because I have to take the vote, but I am not voting at this point. And, and they will start here. One. Two. Three. So we are at 129. 129. 129. No, no, you're 130. No. 130. 131. 132. 186 in the negative. I mean in the affirmative. In the affirmative, in the affirmative, affirmative, affirmative. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. 186. The 186. Was there anybody out there who had stood and didn't count off? That's okay. That's it. All those opposed to the adoption of this motion, please stand. Anybody on the head table? No? Okay. Then we'll move over into the left section. Nine, uh, stop. 19. 19, and then Judy. 21. 20, thank you. 
Anybody in the back? Anyone on the head to head that in the back? Uh, Oh, that's exactly, that's exactly two to one. There are 186 in the affirmative and 62 in the negative. E pluribus Hugo item B14 is adopted. I would like to reiterate that this proposal is not yet a part of the WSFIS Constitution. It has not become a part of our rules. It is being passed on to next year's Worldcon in Kansas City. It will be debated again there. Should it be passed there, it would take effect the following year. Nothing final has been resolved about this. I state this very emphatically because so many of you are new to this process. All this was was the first reading. The chair recognizes the timekeeper. I just want to let all of you know that my Excel spreadsheet was prepared to handle 12 secondary motions for that, and y'all only made me use one. Thank you. The chair would like to recess for approximately 10 minutes. Is there objection? This meeting is adjourned until at least I, re I did it again. John Lorenz, did it again. Did it. come to the head wait, table? Wait, 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 wait. Before, okay. Before, okay, before I do this, who do you want to see at the red head John table? Lorenz. John Lorenz. Would John Lorenz please come to the head table? This meeting is in recess until at least 11.40 a.m.